Today we're going to talk about the baritone, how to put it together, oil the valves, make some sounds, and then put it back away. The first thing we want to do with our baritone is set it on the ground on its back flat so that we can open it up correctly. There's several latches on the baritone, so we need to find all of them, open them up. They should open upwards to make sure that you're opening it right side up. Another way to tell is that there's usually a bump on the top side of the baritone case. We open it up all the way, and we'll see our baritone sitting there. The first thing we want to do is look in the compartment, find some valve oil. Another thing we will need is a soft, lint-free cloth. What I use is a piece of old t-shirt. And so you might need to ask your parents about finding an old t-shirt that you can cut a piece out of. So you grab those two things, and then we also need the baritone, the large part. Bring that and set it on your lap. Now, as we oil our valves, the first thing we need to do is take and open up our valve oil, unscrew it, set it on a table or something like that. Then, look at the baritone. We find that at the top of each valve is a ring that we can unscrew. So unscrew one of the rings, use your soft cloth, pull the baritone valve out, and wipe it off. Wipe any, any old oil or gunk that may have accumulated on it. Clean that. Then take the valve oil and put three or four drops of oil on the valve and set it back in the casing. Move it up and down a little bit to make sure that it moves well. If it's a little bit stiff, you can put another drop of it on if you need to. Now, as we put our valve into the, into the casing, we have to put it in a specific way. If you look inside the casing, you can see a small notch or groove inside that casing right there. That lines up with a knob on the top of the valve. There should be a little bump that sticks out right there. That lines up right there, so line them up. Gently, gently push the valve in. You should never have to really push very hard on that. It should just slide in. Then push it down with one finger, and with the other hand, turn the ring so that it screws onto the casing. Once again, it should go on very easily. If it isn't going easily, then kind of turn it backwards and forwards. Play with it a little bit until you get it on straight. Once it's on, somewhat tight, not real tight, tight enough so it doesn't make funny sounds. Um, then you repeat that with each of the valves. Now we're ready to put the valve oil and the rag away after you've done all three. Screw the lid back on the valve oil, nice and tight so it doesn't leak inside of your case. Put it away. And when you're in the case, reach down, grab the mouthpiece out, and this goes right here in the baritone. Turn it a little bit in there. That will keep it nice and solid in there. Don't push it too hard or really crank. It can get stuck. If it gets stuck so bad that you can't pull it out with your own hand, or your parent can't grab it with their hand and pull it out, then you need to take it either to your band director or a music store, and they'll get it out with a special tool. All right, we're ready to make some sounds with it. So take your right hand, put it through this thumb ring right here, and your fingers go on top of those three buttons. Your left hand can grab it over here on this pipe or somewhere that's comfortable. Put it up to your lips, gently on your lips, and say, hmm, with your lips together, without puffing your cheeks, and just blow through. It'll sound like this. <laughs> You notice my cheeks were nice and controlled. My corners were nice and tight as well. Try not to let those cheeks puff out. One thing you may have noticed when I picked it up is that I held the instrument up to my lips. I didn't bend down. We want to always keep our back nice and straight as we play. Some of you may have to rest your instrument on your leg. Sometimes people rest their instrument between their legs. And some people have to hold it up, like me. 
Now that we've played a little bit, we may have to empty the water out of our instrument. Most instruments have a water key or a spit valve like this. However, usually the easiest way to empty the water out is to pull the tuning slide out. The larger slide at the closest to the bottom of your instrument is the tuning slide. We want to wiggle that out, carry it over to a sink or a trash can, dump out any water that may have accumulated in it, bring it back, and then put it back in. There's only one way that this should go in. If you put it in and try to put it in backwards, the pipes won't fit like they're supposed to. So make sure that it's the same way you pulled it out. Gently, gently wiggle it back in. And then a second place that water may accumulate is right here. It's the valve closest to the, the slide closest to the first valve. So we pull that out, do the same thing, take it to a sink, dump it out, put it back in as well. And now we're ready to put our instrument away. After every practice session, we want to put our instrument back in the case to keep it safe. That way nothing can fall on it, no one can accidentally dent it or anything like that. Take the mouthpiece out, put it back in the case, put the instrument back in gently and carefully so you don't dent it. Close the case and make sure all of the latches are latched. Then put it out of the way in a safe place and you're ready to get it again when you practice again.